Welcome to Ronaldo's opinion video. Today was a kind of a sad day for me personally because I just got the information that one of my good friends uh, has died. Um, well, I'm not gonna get into details because that's beyond the scope of Rauta, but that kind of gave me the idea to do this hopefully short video. Now, that got me thinking. A guy that just dies way too early, much like some artists say Chuck Schuldiner of Death and Dimebag Darrell of Pantera or Quarthorn from Bathory. Those all remind us how fragile life can be. And that yet again leads me to thinking how grateful we should be about people, the bands, artists, whatever the list goes on. Oh, you know, for the things we have and uh, the things, things we just should not miss because we feel like we are busy to do something and then sometimes we just kind of realize it's too late for some things to happen. Like I have this uh, tattoo, kind of a cliche of saying memento mori, remember that we all will die or remember our mortality. That is kind of something that we should keep in our minds. The kind of carpe diem idea that whether it's about a band you would like to see, an artist you would like to hear on stage, but because of reasons X, Y, and Z, you don't get to do that. And then it's too late because maybe that guy just, you know, dies. Say Cliff Burton of Metallica back in the 80s. You were supposed to see that gig, but, well, you had your exams or girlfriend doing shit and like stuff like that, or whatever, and then suddenly you don't have that chance anymore. Or maybe you have some music you want to spread to people, you have your own band, you want to make your message heard, but you're just holding and poisoning your stuff, and you are not in a hurry in order to release it for the other people, for generations to come maybe. And you just like, you know, keep it in your drawer and suddenly you just die. And things don't get released. Like in my friend's case, I don't think I ever heard a full song recorded by this guy. But I knew that he had been playing guitar and some other instruments as well for a long time. He had a band project. Not necessarily a one that actually got anything serious recorded, or at least re released. But now we kind of feel sad, not only for, you know, his relatives and other friends that are mourning his passing, you know, mourning this loss, but I also feel that we lost a talent here. We lost a musician that might have been kind of fruitful, meaningful, to the audience, you know, to let his music heard. And now that he's gone, we probably never might know what kind of cool ideas, nice songs or whatever he had stored in maybe his hard drive or whatever recording uh, equipment he was using. So, what I'm kind of basically trying to say here in this rest in peace video, this homage to my friend, if you will, that sometimes it's good to stop and think for a while this life we have. It doesn't matter if we sing about dark topics, be it black metal, death metal, trash metal, doom metal, or I don't know, even power metal. But we have those certain dark topics every now and then, these sinister themes, and we defy death. We sometimes think that we are immortal or there is maybe higher place or deeper place for that matter. That our lives will go on and, and you know, 
it doesn't matter if you die or live or whatever because there is always some other purpose or plane of existence or whatever but i think it's still important for us to just realize that it just might be this very life that we have nothing else no afterlife no underworld no heaven no hell no next level of anything it just might be emptiness or maybe not even that some weird bug on my webcam anyhow what i'm trying to say here is that sometimes it's just you know forget your busy schedules go to see that band before it stops you know playing those gigs you know go to see them live because it might be your last chance don't make up excuses and if you have a band release something at least for your friends or friends friends or whatever because you never know life just might end way too soon and then it's just like that the end and there's nothing after that I don't know but just to my dead friend wherever you are and to other dead friends before you hails to you thank you for being my and my friends friends maybe see you in Valhalla or maybe not cheers and memento mori